Welcome back to Daybreak Saturday. That means Chef Wendell's here with us right. once again. If you missed it an hour ago, you missed a great recipe, which of course we get on wishtv.com. Mm -hmm. They're out of his books here. Um, hearty, steel cut, easy to make in advance oatmeal mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. breakfast. So something you might want to think about maybe for the work mm -hmm. week ahead. That's right. And now you're going to give us another healthy option that just don't get overwhelmed with the time things mm -hmm. might take. Well, that's the whole thing, yeah. And, I, and again, like we did with the steel cut oats mm -hmm. uh, earlier, you know, I started some quinoa. It took 10 minutes to cook a whole batch of quinoa that will last me for a week. And you can separate it out. And into, I put a little yeah. Tupperware things, and, and if I make them all, I put some in the free. And we did it with brown rice, and we did it with steel cut oats. So we got three different grains that we can cook in advance to stick around. To that means, okay, I'm coming home. Oh my gosh, you look in the refrigerator. Oh, what am I going to do? And you want a quick little meal that's got a lot of nutrition. Well, I love to buy bags of beans. Now these are just, I don't like the cans, of course, there's mm -hmm. all kinds of chemicals in there, but I just drain these, and there's so many varieties, whatever bean that you like, you know, so great, just get some beans in you. Uh, and then I don't normally like to endorse a sauce, I don't want that but, to catch. but we found this. <laughs> it's on a hot burner. Oh, boy, well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, that could, could be really ugly. Uh -huh. <laughs> but Sandy found these things, and these are tiki masala, there's mm. harissa, there's a red, oh, goodness gracious, someone just. Hello, called. Chef Wendell's friends who <laughs> like to call him during his segments, so his phone goes off. <laughs> <laughs> and the other one that I'm going to make today is made from. Um, it's here somewhere. Well, anyway. Is it one oh, of these? Yeah, that's the one right there. there. We go. And then they have one that's red curry. So there's no no bad ingredients in here, Drew. It's nothing in there that you should be really concerned about. Just good whole, and it's non-GMO. There's a lot of focus on that right now. So I go to the refrigerator. I go, what did I get at the farmer's market this week? Oh, I found mm -hmm. some fresh asparagus. Mm -hmm. I've got some sweet red peppers. Of course, it takes a minute, but don't be dick of time to slow down for the day, meditate a little Here's bit. Here's another thing. You could... Chop these in advance. Well, if, you, if you have exactly, some downtime, go ahead and exactly. press the veggies and, and just have them ready to go. Now you can buy veggies already chopped. That's true. You know, yep. kind of hard for me to imagine that someone can't chop veggies. But you know, we live in this crazy world where everything's kind of cooky. We jam pack our schedule no. so much. I got I took some cauliflower, but I bought that from a bag. I got that from a bag in the grocery store. Sandy got that. Then you want your protein. So I'm throwing some red beans. At, whatever bean turns you on, that's what you want to do. Now that's really all there is, Drew. So you just get this sautéing for a couple seconds. You don't want to get crazy. Okay. Yeah, I love it when she talks <laughs> like that. Oh, I love it. Now I take this little sauce. This is a red Thai curry. The brand is called Saffron Road. Uh, read the label. Some of these pre-made sauces are full of high fructose corn syrup and preservatives. A lot of sodium these too. Are not, oh, exactly. And these are not. Okay. And you, you, so if you have this all sitting around, you just pour this little sauce in here. It comes right out of the bag. I love these things. My favorite is it's the harissa sauce, but okay. they're all good. They're all good. So all, that's how long it took mm. to cook this. You got pre-made beans. You cooked your this rice in great. advance. You've got this all ready to go. I put a little green pepper in there, and then I've got a bed of some brown rice. And you can put quinoa. You put quinoa on there too. Whatever, whatever is important to you. And then we just kind of garnish this up. This, well, of course, this, as you know, is your lunch. That, yeah, it is going to be my personal and lunch, which I love. Fresh chopped green onion at the last minute, and I put some nuts, some cashews. That's that great. is what Drew Blair <laughs> eats for breakfast at eight a lunch at eight o'clock in yeah, the morning. Yeah, well, I get up a little earlier than the rest of you, so this could be your family's lunch Absolutely. for dinner. And so some flaxseed for fiber. You. And I'll be at Garfield Farmer's Market next Saturday. Garfield, okay. wonderful farmer's market. Good. And then later on today, I will be at Earth Fair in Greenwood, signing, guy. selling books. And we have the greatest. I meet some. Thank you. I love all you people so much. They are so wonderful to me, Drew. Good stuff. Thank You're, you. You deserve it. Oh, bless you. All heart. right, Marcus, we're going to send it your way. All right.